Hey, how we doing? Today, we're going to do a Lord of the Rings Special Edition Collector Battle. Um, I know I've been vocal about this. I opened uh, one of the first one I opened on, on the channel back when it came out. I felt like I did it because I had to. And I think real time, as I was doing it, I was like, huh. I like this product. This is wild. I did not expect to. I wish these were the first ones they came out with. <laughs> In what it was really a, a good plan... They came out with the worst boxes first, and then they sold, and then they came out with the better boxes later when everybody was, like, tired of the product. Anyway, this is going to be a battle. These are going to be a couple uh, Commander Masters collector packs as prizes. This is how this works, folks. We've got three participants. Sorry, four participants. Each one's going to get three packs. Everything inside their packs belongs to them. We're going to add the mana value of all of their rares and mythics. Whoever has the highest total... And whoever has the lowest total, so a high-low battle, is each going to get one of those Commander Masters collector packs. That's the game. That's how it's played. Okay. Yeah, it feels pretty good. All right. So first we got Jacob. Then we got David. Then we got Tim. And then we got Dustin. Good luck, everybody. We're going to do this in three rounds. I'll cover the score again at the end of each round. I'd love to say, let us find a serial, but in the end, let's just find a bunch of sweet cards and maybe a one ring. All right, Jacob, you're up first. So commons, I am going to kind of go through those because there are some spicy commons and uncommons to get, but that time we did not get them. All right, so you got the Arwen Weaver of Hope right off the rip. A really good commander uh, rare. That's a three. Flowering of the White Tree in the Foil. That is a 5. Okay, Rally of the Galadrim. We're at a 9. File of Galadriel. We're at a 12. That time in the Surge. Elrond, which means you do have a rare or mythic in the back. And you have Doran, the Siege Tower, otherwise known as Treebeard, which is... Shockingly, actually, worth something. Let me re-add that, because I forgot what I was at. <clears throat> I just plain forgot this time. It, it, one could blame flashy objects, but I just plain dumb forgot. You're at a 15. 15. It might be the flashy objects. I, I If you're familiar with me... Uh, Dangle some keys in front of me and I get distracted. Anyway. Okay. David, you're up. Let's see what you got, ring sight. It's okay. All right. And, all right. Come on, beef. The Balrog, that is a seven. I really meant like a really good hit more so in the beef, but that is a seven for casting cost. Gilrain, that is a 10. Commander Foil. Andril, that's cool. One of the new, the new one, which I think is personally way better than the old one. That is a 12. Ah, Doors of Dirt. I am a big fan of this card myself. That is a 17 in the Extended Surge Foil. Fell Beast Shriek, new card. That's a 19. And you have an Elvish Harbinger in the back in the Foil Hildebrand artwork. That's a 19, David. I, I, I both love and hate how they added new cards to this product. Now, of course, you could... Oh, man. They did those scene boxes where they also got them and they guaranteed gave them to you. But they were such badly printed. All right, Tim, you're up. So terribly printed. Entish Restoration. See, I, I just like the card tree. I know not everybody agrees, but I like the card tree. Grey Havens. So much better. I love the scroll treatment. They look, they look original. And if you're doing a property like this, that's that's cool. All right. Smeagol. That's a three. Okay. Hithlane Rope. You're at a five. Arboreal Alliance. You're at a seven. Hey, there's a hit. 
Palantir of Orthoc and the Extended Art Surge Foil. That is a 10 so far. Mortar on the March for a 15 in the Surge. And a Myriad Landscape, so that is a 15. All right, Dustin. Now, overall, this is not the highest casting cost product in the world. I am a fan, though. That's for sure. Okay, how the Dead Marsh is. All right, so Dustin, let's see what you got. Grima. Fiery Inscription, which if you've ever played with this card in the right deck, it's actually quite good. And is a, is a threat that people have learned when they play against me to deal with. And I just sit there and they're like, we should probably blow the thing up. I'm like, yeah, you, you probably should. <laughs> That's fun. Boromir, good card. That's a three. Lobelia, you're at a six. Felby Shriek, you're at an eight. Lobelia again, you're at an 11. Elrond in the rare, that is a 15, because I guess that's what everybody's going to get. And then Soul's Attendant. Yeah, if you, uh, if you get an uncommon in that slot before, then you always get a rare or mythic in that, in that back slot. <clears throat> we have a interesting start. Jacob, Tim, and Dustin are all tied for the low at a 15, and David's in the high at a 19. Pretty simple recap. Jacob, you're up. All right, we got Spider. Okay, Chris knocked. All right, now we're going to get to the juice. Frodo from the Commander deck. That's a two, Mr. Frodo. Hey, Shilab in the foil. Neat. That is an eight so far. Ramas Ekor, another one of the new cards. That's a 12. Sauron's Ransom, you're at a 15. Mythic. Hey, Oboro, Palace of the Clouds and Surge Foil. That's really cool. Doesn't help you with the casting cost subject matter, but that's neat. That looks so good. I know it's kind of dark, but like uh, the way the blue shines on there, that, that's neat. I don't know if that camera's picking it up as well. Anyway, 15. And then an Elvish Harbinger in the back. So another 15. With a really sweet pull of Oboro. I thought the Realms and Relics were a neat inclusion. Um, I liked what they did there. In fact, that was the first time through was the only thing I really liked. All right, David. So, Jacob, you're at a 30. I should probably write that down. There we go. Okay. David, you're up. Gollum. Slip on the ring. Okay. The Battle of Bywater for a 3. The Fall, you're at a 6. Minas Tirith Garrison. Forgot that this was even a card. All right, you're at a 10. Was that? I forgot. Was this one of the ones from the starter deck? I can't remember. Horn of the Mark for a 12. Mythic. Hey, our second one. It is the Thorn of Amethyst. But that's still really cool in the Surge Foil. And you have a Soul's Attendant in the back. That's two, eh? That's two Surge Foils, though, out of the Realms and Relics. So what'd you have there? 14? Yeah, nobody wants to win the high, and nobody wants to win the low. David, you're at a 33. That was the one subject matter I could see why people got a little grumpy. Because they didn't really say they were going to reprint the Surge Foil Realm and Relics. So, of course, in the first iteration, they were actually really hard to pull. Super hard to pull. So, of course, they went for a lot of money. Then they made it where each one of these boxes, you do tend to get one. Like, in this case, we got two. That's probably going to be it. I don't think I've ever seen a box with three. But, hey, you could be amazed. Tim, you're up. But, yeah, that, that was a bit of a... 
you know, they could have been a little clearer about that. But uh, other than that, I think they, I think they killed it. Okay, Tim. Archivist of Gondor for A3. The Oath. So you're adding eight. Hey, Gandalf! I uh, personally have built this commander deck and I rather enjoy it. <clears throat> it is a 12. Moria Marauder for a 14. Samwise, which means we do have a rare or mythic in the back. And we have a second harvest. So what is that? Sorry, Samwise should not be there. That is an uncommon. So that's an 18. Tim, putting you at a 33. So I just want to call it, so far we have not found any scene cards yet. And these boxes always have some scene cards. Or sorry, poster cards, not scene cards. Poster cards. Scene cards are the, are the new things. <laughs> Upside down token again. Been noticing that trend lately in collector boxes that were printed recently. It's interesting. All right, Dustin. <clears throat> Here we go. The Shire for a zero. Arwen in foil. Cool. That is a three. Hey, there we go, Dustin. Legolas's quick reflex. The biggest hit of the new scene cards. That is a four. Forge anew. You're at a seven. Okay, so we got Miraduck Brandy Buck, which means you do have something in the back. Scene card! Ah, yes! The Witch King of Angmar. Not bad. Not bad. I think that's one of the cooler ones myself. So that is a 12. So finally we're getting some separation out here. Um, I need to sleep up a couple things here. Give me a second now. Oop, I need to drop the sleeve. Well, that's the risk of the job. Having to clean up afterwards. And that Arwen's kind of a sweet pull too. I will say one thing about the way they've done these um, silver screen foils or whatever. They don't really curve. Like, they don't really curl. They're actually really nice foils. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the Witch King on top. All right. Going into the last round here, we got Jacob at a 30. David and Tim are tied in the high at a 33. And Dustin is in the low at a 27. So everybody's still relatively close here. So this is going to be an interesting last round. Jacob. I don't know why I didn't sleeve up that Palantir the first time, so I was like, why is, why is that unsleeved? Sleeve it up! Jacob, you are up. Ah, yes, the classic trebuchet. Fire inscription. Ring sight. Okay. Alright. We have a lot of mythics to go. Too greedily, too deep for a 7 to start. The Gaffer for a 10. That's a, not a bad little uh, commander pull right there. Call forth the Tempest. You're at an 18 already. Hey, delighted halfway. You're just going to go the other way around for a 19 in the Surge. That's cool. Legolas, which means you do have something in the back. Warship. Okay. Silver Screen, Hildebrandt, Artwork, Warship. So what do you have? A 23? A 53, Jacob. A 53. <clears throat> David? There we go. Escaping from Orthanc. Hey! Foil Nazi G. These things have been uh, hitting past the $15 mark at this point again. Nice hit plus, David. I know you have a Nazgul deck. So, you have a home for this. Mountain. 
Labelia. Got a lot of her. This is the commander version, but that's a three. The Balrog, you're at a ten. Oh, nice. We did really well in that slot. Nazgul Battle Mace, you're at a fifteen. Mythic! Anduril! So you got the other version. So that is uh, foil, surge foil, Anduril. So that is an 18. And the Fell Beast of Mordor in Surge. That is a 22. And then with a Tempt with Discovery in the back. So that puts you at a 55, David. So right now you are officially in the high. Tim. Okay. Knife wound. Onto the dead marshes. All right. Bilbo from the commander deck. That's a three. Relic of Sauron also from one of the commander decks. That's a seven. Eagle of Deliverance, you're at a 13. Shalab, that is a, that's a 19, that's a cool pull. You have an uncommon, so it means, what do we have in the back? We have a scene card in four, ah, oh, it's Diabolic in 10, it is not a scene card, but still really cool, actually. A foil Diabolic in 10 in the Hildebrandt artwork. So hold on. A twenty a twenty-one. Is that right? Yep. Tim, you're at a fifty-four. Whew, this is a close one. Dustin, your last pack. Wizard Rockets? Slip on the ring. Not gonna read them all. Is that a Thor? Okay. All right, Dustin. Last pack. Delighted halfling for a nice one to start. Gloin, you're at a four. Gl the Galadrim Brigade. Uh, Brigade. It's actually a really good card. Uh, that is a seven. Goldberry, you're at a nine. Thick thighs save lives. Gandalf, all right. Are you going to get two posters? You freaking are going to get two posters. And Gandalf the White. That is an excellent poster pull. Congratulations, Dustin. I'm going to have to add up your stuff here. You might have won the low on top of it. Because that was outside of Gandalf. That was a really low pack. Yeah, that was a 14. Yeah, that's, that's an easy game. Let me sleeve up that Gandalf. Okay, final scores are in, folks. Heck of a battle. Heck of a battle. Let me just put that Gandalf on top. That looks so good. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Jacob, you finished at a 53. David, you finished in the high at a 55. Tim, you finished at a 54. We had three people all within two. And Dustin, you finished at the low with a 43. So congratulations to the winners. Dustin, let's see what's in your prize pack first here. For some reason, I always do the low first for reasons I don't know. If I can get the pack open, that would be... There we go. You know, it's kind of funny. These these special edition Lord of the Rings collector boxes, like they're also like the print quality of them are really good. I don't understand the difference. I don't I don't get it. Why did they do that with these, but like not other products? Like they're really nice. Anyways, let me stop talking and get to the things people want to actually see. Kodama's Reach. What do you take forever there? Love the basics. Not Ears Nightblade. Faithless Looting. Okay. Elvish Mystic and Foil. And now we're going to get into the juicy stuff. Fierce freaking Guardianship, Dustin. Dustin, you have cleaned the heck up. Holy crap. Okay. Fierce Guardianship. 
Savage Beating and Foil Etched, which is actually not a... Anytime you get a Mythic out of that Foil Etched and a playable one, that's pretty good. Yeah, Nycthia and Foil. I'm actually personally jealous of that. A little off-centered, but that's all right. Eureka and... Kindred Dominance in Foil. That was a nice pack. All right, David. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Okay, Storm Kiln. Counterspell. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Married Landscape and... Song of the Dryads. Okay, decent start. Sword of the Animus in foil etched. Not bad. Rise of the frickin' Eldrazi. That is a hit. Extended Art Rise of the Eldrazi is spectacular. Okay. Mythic. Okay, we got the Micaeus, the Unhallowed, which is definitely one of the best uh, looking of the profiles. It looks very menacing, and he's clearly zombified. All right, come on. Rare. And Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. Gorgeous. All right. Well, that's going to do it, folks. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff that we do. Um, I need to get everything all packed up here for everybody, but I appreciate you. Um, these Lord of the Rings boxes have gotten... Tough to get. Um, it's been well documented. Um, so I, I'm not I'm probably not going to get to run them too much longer unless the market decides they don't care about this product anymore, which could happen. And if that happens, oh, we're going, baby. Appreciate y'all. Bye.